Maruti has finally launched the Baleno RS and the starting price is rupees 8.69 lakh. So the big question is should you buy the Baleno RS and how good is the first performance hatchback from Maruti? Well, we drove the car at BIC to find that out. We drove the car for 5 laps at the BIC and while a proper road test will come as and when we get to drive it on the road, we really pushed the car at the circuit to get a good idea about this car. Now this is a turbo petrol called as a booster jet in Maruti terms and makes 102 bhp and 150 nm of torque. The international spec car with this engine makes a bit more power, but for India it has been detuned for a fuel quality reasons. Now 102 horses is indeed a big jump over the 83 bhp 1.2 petrol, but the more important figure is the torque. Yes, it is 150 Nm versus the 115 Nm of the 1.2 petrol. Start off and you will notice the eagerness and lack of lag. Yes, Maruti has controlled turbo lag well and overall it is a much better drive over the 1.2 petrol. Pushed hard the motor as in a new layer performance for the Baleno. The RS unlike the 1.2 has a lot more punch at low speeds plus a healthy mid-range unlike the 1.2 which you need to rev to get the best out of it. Power delivery is smoother and it builds up quite nicely. We did 170 km an hour and the RS is just plain quicker and more fun over the 1.2 petrol. There is only a 5 speed manual and well we are not complaining as it has fantastic shift quality. What is also nice is the noise as it is not unpleasant, something we feared with 3 cylinders on offer. The RS is also about 60 kg heavier over the 1.2 and features all round disc brakes plus different suspension. The brakes are up to the job and gave us confidence to pile more speed into the corners. It is also more stable at high speeds over the standard Baleno, plus handles better. The steering is also heavier. We did not drive it on the road to check out its ride, though I expect it to be firmer but not that much over the standard one. This turbo petrol, as said earlier, makes for better and more relaxed drive over the 1.2 with less gear shifts required. It's efficient as well with a 21.1 km per litre mileage, like the standard Baleno top end alpha trim level which is the RS available with also comes with a ton of features. Plus, like the standard Baleno, it is quite spacious and practical as well. We have always been big fans of the styling of the Baleno and the RS takes it to a new level. It looks sportier and is not overdone but not subtle also. You can see the smoked headlamps, new grille, new front and rear bumper, side skirts, spoiler, black alloys and of course the RS badge. As said earlier, the Baleno RS is priced at Rs 8.69 lakh which is not cheap but packs in a lot of value. We are paying about Rs 1.2 lakh more over the top spec 1.2 petrol. So the big question is, is it worth it? In a word, yes. The Baleno RS is more than just a Baleno with more power. As it is an improved and better to drive Baleno, it has been tuned very well and offers of inner performance but without sacrificing anything. Plus do not forget it is a Maru at the end of it all so the peace of mind factor is very much there. So yes, get the Baleno RS but our advice in red.